Good morning, students. Today we will continue with our chapter number nine, carbon and its allotropes. Till now we have studied the crystalline forms of carbon, diamond, graphite, and fullerene. Today we will study about the non-crystalline or amorphous forms of carbon. The word amorphous means lacking in shape or form. In amorphous forms, carbon atoms are not arranged in an ordered pattern. That is, they do not have any particular shape. Coal, charcoal, coke, lamp black, and gas carbon are the amorphous forms of carbon. Charcoal. Charcoal is a black, porous, soft, and brittle solid, which is present in several varieties. Every variety is named after the source from which it is obtained. For example, wood charcoal is obtained from wood, sugar charcoal is obtained from sugar, and bone or animal charcoal is obtained from bone when they are burnt in the absence of air. Wood charcoal is prepared by the destructive distillation of wood. Destructive distillation means process of heating organic substances in the absence of air. In destructive distillation of wood, it is heated in the absence of air, which results in the formation of four products, wood charcoal, wood tar, pyroligenous acid, and wood gas. It is found that one kilogram of wood on destructive distillation yields about 250 gram of wood charcoal which is left behind as a residue. Now we will do an activity to demonstrate the preparation of wood charcoal. For this the materials required are wood shavings, two test tubes, Bunsen burner, two delivery tubes, a trough containing cold water, a matchbox and two clamps. We set up the apparatus as shown in the following figure. We heat the first test tube containing the shavings, wood shavings strongly by providing heat from the Bunsen burner. After some time we will observe a clear liquid called pyroligenous acid collecting in the second test tube along with a black colored sticky liquid mass called wood tar. The procedure is we bring a lighted match stick near the open end of the second delivery tube. We will observe that the gas coming out of it burns with a blue flame indicating the presence of the gas known as wood gas. The black residue which is left behind in the first test tube is the wood charcoal. Thus we conclude that destructive distillation of wood yields wood charcoal, the black solid residue, wood tar, the black sticky liquid pyroligenous acid, the colorless liquid and the wood gas, a combustible gas. Properties of wood charcoal. Wood charcoal is black, porous, soft and brittle solid. Its density is 1.5 gram per centimeter cube. It decolorizes the sugar and oil. It is a bad conductor of heat and electricity. It is a good adsorbent. Adsorbent means it has a property due to which a substance can hold solid, liquid and gases on its surface and release them back on heating. It can adsorb, the wood charcoal can adsorb solids, liquids and gases. This adsorption capacity of wood charcoal increases when it is heated at about 900 degrees Celsius because the pores open and increase its capacity to hold more gas. Such type of charcoal is called activated charcoal. It floats on water although it is heavier than water. This is because 
of the presence of adsorbed air in its porous surface uses of wood charcoal it is used as a fuel because of its low ignition temperature it is used as a decolorizing agent it can adsorb coloring matter from the sugar solutions oils and petroleum products it is used as a reducing agent for the reduction of metal oxides to free metals it is used in the gas mask and the respirators to adsorb harmful gases it is also used as disinfectant for the purification of water it is a constituent of gunpowder which is a mixture of charcoal potassium nitrate and sulfur sugar charcoal sugar charcoal is the purest form of amorphous carbon it is prepared from sugar by following the two processes first when concentrated h2so4 that is sulfuric acid is poured over sugar it acts as a dehydrating agent and absorbs water from the sugar leaving behind carbon and water this carbon is called the sugar charcoal as it is obtained from sugar next method is the destructive distillation of sugar we obtain sugar charcoal and water uses of sugar charcoal it is used as a reducing agent to extract the metals from their respective oxides it is also used to decolorize the colored solutions it is used in preparation of artificial diamonds when heated at a temperature of about 3000 to 3500 degree celsius next animal or bone charcoal it is obtained by the destructive distillation of animal bones the process is like the one used for the manufacture of wood charcoal the destructive distillation of animal bone yields bone charcoal ammonia pyridine and bone oil animal charcoal contains only 10% carbon and is mostly made up of calcium phosphate the properties of animal charcoal it is highly porous and it is a good adsorbent of the coloring matter the uses of animal charcoal it is used as a decolorizing agent it is used during the manufacture of white sugar to remove the brown color from the sugar cane juice it is used to prepare bone ash the bone ash is used in the manufacture of white phosphorus it is used to filter the aquarium water it is used to remove excess of fluoride from water which can cause tooth decay lamp black also called as soot when the substances which are rich in carbon are burnt in the absence of oxygen that is destructive distillation is done of the substances like turpentine oil kerosene vegetable oil petrol benzene and paraffin lamp black is obtained the soot which is obtained is collected over damp blankets that is wet blankets and are obtained by jerking in rural areas where kerosene lamps are used for the lighting in the house lamp black is a common sight the deposit on the inside of the walls of a chimney is lamp black it contains 98 to 99% carbon the properties of lamp black it is a black light and velvety powder it is a bad conductor of heat and electricity uses of lamp black it is used in the printers ink black paint and carbon paper it is also used to make the shoe polish it is used as filler in the manufacture of rubber tires it is also used as kajal now we will see an activity to prepare kajal from the mustard oil the materials required for it are diya that is lamb the mustard oil 
cotton wick and a clean metal plate. We take a lamp and fill it with some mustard oil. Put a cotton wick in the lamp and allow it to soak in the oil. Light the wick. Put a clean inverted metal plate over it in such a way that the flame is directly below the inverted position of the plate. We will observe that after some time a deep black powdery mass gets deposited on the inner surface of the plate. From this we conclude that the black powdery mass is the lamp black or suit which is used as kajal. Coal. Coal is a natural form of amorphous carbon. It is black sedimentary rock which consists of a complex mixture of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen compounds with some volatile gases and small amounts of mineral impurities that produce ash when burnt. It is found deep inside the earth's surface. In India, large deposits of coal are found in Jharkhand, Odisha, West Bengal and Madhya Pradesh. Due to the earthquakes and volcanic activities, the entire forests were buried deep down in the earth millions of years ago. Coal was formed by the decomposition of the remains of trees and plants which were buried inside the earth's surface millions of years ago. Due to excessive temperature and pressure inside the earth and in the absence of air, the decayed plant matter gets converted into coal. This process of conversion of coal, wood into coal is called carbonization. So carbonization can be defined as so carbonization can be defined as a slow chemical process of the conversion of wood or trees into coal. In laboratories, the process of destructive distillation is carried out to obtain different products from coal such as coke and gas carbon. The destructive distillation of coal is, takes place when coal is heated in the absence of air. It results in the formation of coke, coal gas, gas carbon, coal tar and ammoniacal liquor. Now we will do an activity to study the products obtained during destructive distillation of coal. For this the materials required are two boiling tubes, the burner, the test tube clamps and some coal powder. We take two boiling tubes A and B and set the apparatus as shown in the following figure. We take some cold powder in the boiling tube A and some cold water in the boiling tube B and heat the boiling tube A strongly. We will observe that when coal is heated strongly, vapors of carbon are formed. Some of these vapors solidify on the side walls of the boiling tube A and are called gas carbon. The remaining vapors enter into the boiling tube B through the delivery tube. On passing through the water, they form two separate layers. The upper layer is ammonia dissolved in water and is known as ammoniacal liquor. The lower layer is a black thick liquid called coal tar. A colorless gas called coal gas is produced which is insoluble in water. It escapes through the open end of the tube. If a lighted match is brought near the coal gas, it burns which shows that coal gas is a combustible gas. The residue left behind in the test tube A is coke. 
So we conclude that different products are obtained on the destructive distillation of coal which are coal, tar, gas, carbon, ammoniac, liquor and coke. <clears throat> there are four different types of coal depending upon the carbon content and for how long it was buried under the surface of earth. Peat. Peat is the first stage of coal formation. It is partially decayed plant matter found in swamps called bogs. The carbon content of peat is very less, only 50 to 60 percent. Fifty to sixty percent. It is the youngest variety of coal and is light brown in color. It burns slowly with a sooty flame producing foul smelling gases, leaving behind a large amount of ashes residue. Next layer is lignite when layers of sand and silt compress the peat. The oxygen content of peat is removed to give a soft brown coal called lignite. It burns easily with a less sooty flame. It is harder than peat. It contains 60 to 70 percent, 60 to 70 percent of carbon. Bituminous, when more layers of sand and silk comprise the lignite, it is converted to bituminous coal. It is the most abundant type of coal. It is also known as a household fuel. It produces more heat than peat and lignite. The carbon content in bituminous is about 75 to 80%. Anthracite. It is lustrous and black in color and it is the best type of coal. It is the hardest coal and produces more heat than any other type of coal. It has the highest carbon content that is 90 to 95% and very high ignition temperature and therefore it burns slowly. On burning it produces little smoke and leaves minimum ash. Uses of coal. Coal is mainly used as a fuel in the industries for the production of electricity. It is used as a domestic fuel for cooking. Coal is used in the manufacture of coke which acts as a reducing agent for the extraction of the metals. It is used in the manufacture of synthetic petrol. Coal is used as source of organic compounds like benzene, toluene, phenol and aniline. Coke Coke is a black, porous and solid residue left after the destructive distillation of coal. It contains 95 to 98% free carbon and is free from the volatile impurities. Coke is a good fuel as it burns without smoke. It is a bad conductor of heat and electricity. Coke is of two types, soft coke. It is black, porous which ignites with little difficulty. It is used in household furnaces. Hard coke. It is light and lustrous in nature. It is used in industrial furnaces. The uses of coke. Coke is used as a good reducing agent in the extraction of metals from their ores. It is used in the manufacture of metal carbides such as calcium carbide. It is used in the manufacture of water gas and producer gas. Thank you.